here guys going to be talking about Leo stock not financial advice it's going to be a price prediction guys price prediction video of Neo stock uh, it's the 3rd December 2024 coming up to 47 minutes past 1 a.m. UK time guys and in my last video I spoke about just going to look at the chart I spoke about the price would be going up on the third I said if you check that last video guys I mentioned it in my last video although I said in my last video that two aspects about neo crash could crash due to a stock market crash and also could crash further but I also, let me just change the chart to the one day chart. I also said that looking at the price action of Neo stock that <clears throat> it's already crashed. Well, when, I, when it should have went up here, round about here, it got bashed down. It got bashed down and this, what, this is what's happened. But in my last video, I spoke about the patterns connecting and I said it's due to go up today the third right based on the price action so if you look at that what I said was you could go and listen to that third video but if you see these three three green days here followed by three red you know this is on the day chart and then you got green red and then it goes up so it's replicating here. So you've got three green in a row, three red, green red as it goes there, green red, and then it shoots up green. So if it replicates, then the green day would be the third, which is today. And today starts in aftermarket trading. Right, so if my prediction is correct, it's a fine, it'd be pretty, if it's correct, it, like to, let's put it this way, if it's correct, then it would be bang on, spot on, spot on the actual day. And I mentioned it in my last video, but if, it's, if I'm not spot on, on the exact day, can't be far out guys because I'm late this should have happened if you can know in my previous videos this should have happened but they keep talking about tariffs to bash it down I mentioned that as well why they're bashing it down what was the reason they're bashing it down if you go back and listen to my other videos but anyway it should have happened in the week 11th to the 15th if not that week, it should have happened 18th to the 22nd. But of course it got bashed down, bashed down. Keep coming out with a load of nonsense. Then it didn't happen in the week 25th to 29th. And there was one holiday day, I forget what day it was. And anyway, this is going into now December, right? So, so now we're in December. It's formed a completely different pattern here, which didn't exist back here when it was in this cup. When it should have shot up here, it started getting bashed down, right? So, basically it formed a completely different pattern when it got bashed. Here it should have shot up. And it didn't, and then it got bashed down. Anyway... Based on this, if it replicates, right, because you see this diagonal going up here, as it did here, it was all diagonal going up. Then it got hit down here with the mini stock market crash, which, by the way, I predicted back in July, August, if you remember, that's the mini stock market crash right there in August. I predicted that back here. That brought down most, obviously, big stocks like Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, you name it. 
video, all of them, right? And then it went up, the other stock, the other stock went up, right? As I say, this is a pattern that could be replicated now. These three greens, three reds, green, red, and then green up. So three greens, three reds, green, red, and green. Right, if this goes up today, the third, see when the market opens, may not be a big move, but it must be quite significant, i.e. Like if you see this one, 393 to 421, there's only 30 cents in it on the first trading day. So we're looking for 30 cents or more. And then the second trading day was only 417 to 430. That was only 13 cents second day. The first day, the range from 425, 425 to 487, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then it went down somewhat diagonal, and then it pushed up further. So we're going to see some kind of move today, I think. I think I've called this right, even at this early stage. I mean, I, caught, I, I said it in my last video before it went into... Before it went into the third, it was still on red, this red bar, when I published that video, when I recorded that video, right? So I'm going to click on five minute here. This is the five minute, right? Five minute NEO stock price chart. And we can see it's moving up, right? So I'm partially bang on. I'm partially correct thus far. I said that this could be the day of the move. I know some of you in the comments said that it's not going to go up in December, but I think I think I'm correct. I think it is going to go up. I think it should have went up, as I said during those dates. But they keep bashing it down. But I think I could be right. This could be it, guys. This could be the move. This could be the move, not financial advice, but um, yeah, price action wise, um, I think, right, if it's, if it is the move, if it is the move, let me just change the chart, let me just change the chart, <laughs> alright guys, hang on, hang on, hang on, I'll put it on the 30 minute chart, right, if this is the move, I think, I think that you've got to be looking at, you know, first move we've got to be looking at somewhere like 470 if not if not 480 you know if this is the first move first trading day green proper i think we do we'll be looking at going at you know basically 480 if not higher but i would say 480 and that would be significant if it's the first move. Yeah, so I'm pretty confident, guys, that this is the this gonna the third third of December. This is going to be the um, this is going to be the first move of the spike. And I've said this before. This was even here. Go back in my video several hours ago. This is just. This is after market. This is 30 minute bars after market. And as you can see, the last, all the other 30 minutes, they were going sideways after the market closed. As you can see the times here, right? So you can see after the market closed, it was going sideways. And now going into the third, it's made a move. I think this could be it, guys. This could be my prediction coming correct, albeit a bit late. But nonetheless i did say in my videos when it started getting bashed down that the 
is the dates are all off uh, because because of the um, the election and talk of tariffs, etc. So anyway, guys, let's see. Let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens uh, into uh, in the open, the open on the third today, later, later, later. Let's see what happens because I think if my prediction comes good, we could be looking at 850, 850 to 950, like, spiking up to not in one day but spiking up to potentially higher than 10 potentially higher than 10 guys and that's just the, basically the first set like the, the spike the h highest point it could reach during the you know several trading days during that set that set that spike up as we saw back, if I just changed the chart to the one day chart, as we saw back here, when it made a move, you know, you've got one, two, three, four, five trading days and it went down and then six, seven, eight, nine. So you had nine, nine prominent trading days that pushed it up to 770. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about nine trading days. So I think this is the start. Doesn't look it, but I think this is the start of another. Could be wrong, but I think it's another start of another spike based on the patterns, based on the patterns that have formed, based on the patterns that have formed. Um, yeah, I mean, it's arguably, I mean, you could put the case that it's, it's took a long time before it went up here and then it's took ages before it went up here. And this hasn't really took that long, but, but on the other hand, the patterns that form in here correlate with before they take off. I've checked these going right back. Every time they've taken off, I've checked the patterns, how they look, how they form on this Neo stock. So I'm pretty certain that this is takeoff time. Pretty certain this is takeoff time, guys. Not financial advice, but I'm pretty certain this is takeoff time. Yeah, let's see if I'm right or wrong. Let's see, but I've been right up to now. But let's see if I've called it right. Um, not sure what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments, guys.